Welcome back to the Bible Reading Challenge podcast. My name is Aaron Ventura, and this episode is a brief update on what the plan is for the podcast as the summer approaches. So back in September of 2021, we began the full Bible Reading Challenge, which takes you through the entire Bible. And if you made it to the end or jumped in midway, whatever you did, uh, well done. Remember, the goal of this is not just to check boxes, but to know God through His Word and to develop the habit of communion with him through prayer and reading the scriptures. Now, at the beginning of June, we will start Same Page Summer, which is our reading plan through the New Testament. And then after that, in the fall, we will start up again the full Bible reading challenge. So uh, here's my plan for the podcast over the course of the next year and a half or so. Uh, This summer, I am going to pick up where I left off in my Revelation series, and I'm going to try to finish that book by summer's end. So this is a series that is meant to walk you through every chapter of Revelation and give you a really solid handle on the book. We have already done chapters one to four so far. Those are online if you want to go back and listen to them. And I hope to do chapters five to 22 over the summer. Now, when the summer ends and the full Bible reading challenge starts back up in the fall, I will return to doing those book overview episodes that go along and match up with the reading plan. So far, we have done 20 of the 66 books of the Bible, almost all Old Testament, and by the end of next summer, 2023, Lord willing, we will have completed all 66 books. At least, that is my hope. Now, depending on time and what else is going on in life and ministry, I may do some other interviews or mini-series along the way. I have a a bunch of ideas. It's just really a matter of time, uh, finding the time to do them. Uh, But that's what you can expect on the podcast side of things. Now, one of the great blessings of the internet is that I can record this here in my house or in the office, and then it goes out to people on the other side of the world. And so I do get a lot of emails and messages from other people around the country. And when I am listening to other people preach or teach the Bible, um, I like to know a little bit about who they are, that they aren't just some crazy person hidden in a bunker somewhere, but a real Christian in real community and under real spiritual authority that they have to actually answer for what they say. So I want to take a moment to just reintroduce myself to those of you who do not know me. So I was born and raised in Washington. I'm from Silverdale. I was born in Ballard. I'm 32 years old and I am married to Ellen, my wife. Together we have two sons. James is our oldest. He's almost two. And Shiloh is our newborn baby. He was born just a couple weeks ago. Uh, We live in Moscow, Idaho. We're members at Christ Church. And I am also employed by Christ Church and help run our college ministry, which is CRF, Collegiate Reformed Fellowship. So I do a lot of uh, disciples discipleship, mentoring, help run a midweek uh, service meeting for the students, also do outreach to the University of Idaho. Uh, I am licensed to minister in the CREC, that is the Communion of Reformed Evangelical Churches, and I've been in ministry now for uh, about 12 years. I grew up a Christian in charismatic and Pentecostal churches, speaking in tongues, uh, laying hands on people, knocking people over, uh, word of faith, prosperity gospel kind of churches. That was my upbringing. Uh, But I became reformed in my college years, and then I spent some time doing ministry in Seattle at my alma mater, the University of Washington. I got a bachelor's in business there. Then I spent a few years helping plant a church in Jacksonville, Florida with Acts 29, and then after that, I moved moved to Moscow to complete my pastoral studies, and I graduated from Gray Friars Hall in 2019. So that's a little bit of my journey, my story, and I do consider it an enormous blessing that I get to research and write and produce these episodes for you. I did recently build a website to house all of this material. That's the local Christendom website that I mentioned at the beginning of each episode, and I do encourage you to go use that. There's a whole bunch of free stuff on there that uh, I have produced and also that I link to. We do have some exciting plans for the BRC in the future, including using the Canon Plus app to make some of these resources a lot more accessible. So that is in the work. So look out for that. I will announce that when that goes live. And then lastly, if this podcast has been a blessing to you, please do us a favor and share it with your people. Uh, One of the best ways you can help us get this content to other folks is also by rating and reviewing the podcast on iTunes. This helps other people find the show, helps with discoverability 
accessibility, that kind of thing. So please do that. It is a great help. And I think that is it for now. The next episode that drops should be on Revelation chapter 5. And as always, you can email me with feedback at aaronventura at gmail.com. All right, until next time, keep on reading.